Hi everyone, uh, I'm Rob from Important Little Games. Uh, we're working on Codemancer, but today I'm going to play a little bit of the Foos just to get a flavor for it and uh, show you all what's it about. What's it about? So, I met some of the developers of this game when I was at um, Games for Change. They seemed really cool. I think they've got a great philosophy. Um, but yeah, I haven't played the game yet, so uh, I'm excited to check it out. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. Code Spark Academy. Okay, well, a couple of pop ups before we even start. Okay, so Hour of Code and Computer Science Education Week logos. That's interesting. New user. Now I'm going to be a bear. Oh, there's a girl bear. Frog. Fox. Oh my gosh, these are great. I love these avatars. This is going to take me all day. Uh, bunnies. Panicked footballers. Uh, fries. Muppets. Oh my goodness, these are so great. Okay, at a certain point I've got to just choose. Okay. I'm a nifty face. Okay, so, so they give you the ability to create a name without actually letting you type, which is really good in terms of like kids' security and privacy. So I like where this is going so far. Let's mix it up. Jack Spooky Chin. All right, I have a feeling this is where we start because that's the thing that's pulsing. A little bit of story. It's a monster that steals some donuts from a cop. Pretty stereotypical. <laughs> right off the bat, we're uh, profiling cops here. Not all cops love donuts. I'm just kidding. They do. <laughs> all right. And then we hit her, and then thing happens. Yeah, all right. And it's in 3D with a toon shader. This is this is pretty pretty uh, high tech. All right, so we get two things here. We're gonna go forward and then forward again, and we'll hit the lady. She does the thing. Cool. Right on. And they're using the left to right um, coding styles that are top down, just like um, uh, just like Lightbot does, which is a neat uh, thing. And jump means jump forward, which also is something Lightbot does. That's cool. Nailed it. Let's move on. Let's see, where does it start to get interesting? Okay, so we got forward, jump, I wonder if it wants jump, jump, or forward jump. I don't know. So is this like help? I don't know. I don't know what a lot of these things are. Like how do we, okay, we're getting lots of coins and stars. Let's redo this to see if jump would have worked. So here we're gonna take this out, put that in. And we're gonna do jump, jump, Huh. It looked like we got the donut before. I'm not even going to do this. Let's see. Kablam. Nailed it. Even better. I should get super bonus points for that because I didn't even use all the commands they suggested. Okay. So forward, jump, jump. Cool. This is reassuring that they're using UI sort of at the bottom of the screen. Sometimes I'm wary of doing that because I've heard that little kids like to just rest their rest their hands here along the bottom, and uh, that 
that means that you can get a lot of misclicks. Alright, let's see. Oh, wait a second. I can, I can swap these. Okay, cool. They use some, some in-place UI, which is something I really like as the guy making Codemancer, which has a lot of in-place UI. I wish we could skip this cutscene. Okay. Okay. I have to actually touch her. I can't just touch anywhere here. So that's another interesting observation. Boom, boom, boom. I can just imagine. I, you know, I should actually turn the audio on. See what the actual <laughs> audio is. No, oh, that's there. We go. Huh. There we go. Wow, that's overpowering. Too loud, too loud, too loud. No, oh, not you. There we go. All right, that's a sensible level. Okay. So, now we're going left again. So, we want to jump. Wait, what happens if you jump forward? Oh, it's just straight up? Okay, interesting. Jump, forward, forward, jump. Forward, forward. Jump. Let's see how they start to introduce iteration, because that was very repetitive. They probably could have. Oh wow, okay. There's even more stuff here. Okay, so there's a timing element. They got the kids yay sound, which everyone loves. All right. So this whole section has no iteration. And again, this meta pop-ups, a little annoying to me. Okay. All right, okay, so that was all just like by way of tutorial, I guess, and now we're in the real levels. Oh man, this is deliberately Mario-y looking. Okay, so what's the point of this? There's no programming here. And we can jump super high. Is it the thing where like we learn to do it? Okay, we got double jump. Is it the thing where we learn to do it first manually, and then we learn how to do it in code after or something? Let's move on. So looks like these, this is just like level design type stuff. This is like the third game we've seen so far, kind of. 
Um, so this is a bit of a Mario Maker like there's a Mario Maker style interface. But what's the coding part? <laughs> so we did this whole introduction to coding in the beginning. Which I'm not sure if we got all of that. Okay, okay, here we go. Here's some more coding. So we're coding the AI. Is that what I'm getting? And they all do the same thing, which is interesting in itself. Okay, and they all do the same dance, which makes sense to me. We're all in this together. We've got a coordinated dance. Okay. Uh, okay, interesting. So we told the spring to jump. That's what I'm gathering. We told the spring to jump, and it did, and that helped us because it brought the spring down. I'm bring the level down. Okay, treasure box. I hope this is exciting. All right, what's this? It's told me to do a lot of things so far. I don't know. Okay, I just purchased something. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of the tutorials are handholdy to the point where I don't know what I'm doing. Even though, like, okay. Okay, there's physics. So yeah, sometimes, it, yeah, I don't know how or why, but I lose the recording somehow. Let's put that down there. Okay, I have to tap it and then start to drag it. That's pretty unintuitive. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to guess that these are explosive, but not in a bad way. OK, they drop explosives. OK. So underneath the, the block, it drops some. I had no idea what was going to happen when I touched those blocks, to be perfectly honest. Um, all right. I think we should call it quit soon, because we've been at this for um, like 15 minutes or so. OK. Bunny is temple. OK, so it's really explicitly telling me what to do here. Like, okay, I get it. I can follow instructions, but like, why does it need me to do this? And what does it have to do with anything? I don't know where hearts are. Seems like everything else is empty. just happened. Okay. I have to 
buy that. No, thank you. All right. Do that. This is not exactly one to one. It's like I'm attached via a spring, so it's a little sluggish. Um, I'm sorry. I'm I'm being harsher than I expected that I would be, but I, you know, I've been playing a bunch of these games and so far, well, maybe it's just that this game is not so programming focused and that's why I'm being a little bit critical. It's very much more game focused, more game design development focused. Let's see if we can find these critters. I don't know which critter it wants me to get. These beasties. I want to say it's one of these. Like this kind. Let's just see. Okay. If we put this here. Does that, does that satisfy the gods of this thing? It goes on forever. Okay. Play. I don't know what that is. Give 25 coins to Earth and crash. <laughs> well, that's a good place to leave it, I suppose. Um, that was just a quick playthrough of the Foos. I'm sure it gets into more detail with the coding bits later on. But um, yeah, that was just uh, my first playthrough, first impression. Hope you guys liked it. Please. Uh, Comment, subscribe, like, enjoy, live, breathe. Uh, come back and visit us next video. Till then, bye bye.